Step 6. Sharpie the background. Trace the uncolored background details with a thin Sharpie. Remember to use shading techniques such as hatching or stippling. Feel free to add more details if you feel it is too plain. Remember that when shading with lines, the closer the lines are together, the darker, and the further apart the lines are, the lighter it seems. For the dirt in front of the barn, I decided to use the doodling technique. Refer back to your notes for help. To represent the grass with lines, I'm just going to use the directional lines similar to what we use for the color pencils. The direction matters. To represent the asphalt, I'm just going to make tiny little marks or dots. Remember, you don't need to apply a lot of pressure to do this. Don't ruin the end of your marker. When it comes to the fencing, I'm not going to only outline, but I'm also going to add a few lines, such as hatching, to show the shadows that would be on the right side of every pole. I'm going to finish out the background with a few extra details to add more depth and dimension to my overall picture. The final step in this project is to carefully outline the box that we have going around our paper, dividing the outside color from the inside black and white picture. In this video, I used a thin Sharpie, but I recommend you use a normal thicker Sharpie.